G'day, I'm Kate Glarock. How are you today? I'm chatting about one of my favourite MRE or meal ready to eat. I was never really a fan of MREs, but then I went to go do a hike um, in Western Australia that was along a ridge top and there's no reliable water. So we had to carry all our water in our packs that we were drinking. And for that reason, it seemed like a silly idea to take dehydrated food that then I'd have to carry the water to rehydrate them. So I, I got into these and they're absolutely delicious. Um, they're certainly not for, you know, ultralight hiking, but in conditions where there is no water available, you may as well have the water in your food. On my website, I also have a detailed guidebook on food for hiking, which includes dehydrating your own food, meal prep, planning that you'll need to do for any sort of length of hike. This is an Australian company who ran hiking tours on the Kokoda track and they wanted to get delicious, reliable food and that's where they sort of sprung up. My mate Erin and I really enjoyed them on our Stirling Ridge walk. Uh, a particular favourite was the coconut ginger. This guy absolutely blew my socks off. Also really um, high in calories. Sun over Bluff Knoll, let's cook up. This is delicious. This... Mm, that smells good. Mm, really yummy. <laughs> Yay, we've made Erin happy. Oh, we've been pretty, oh, these ones have been amazing. Yeah, they have actually. The dinners start around 13 95 or 14 bucks, which is pretty great. They're so definitely not light. They weigh about 250 to 270 grams, so that can really add up if you're a seven day dinner to carry. It um, really does add up. But yeah, where they're perfect is for those, well, people who don't care about weight and just like delicious meals or someone who is doing a hike where there isn't water available. If you're counting calories and making sure you're getting enough energy, you need to look closely because some of them are about 200 calorie serves and some of them are 500 calorie serves. And when you pair that with mashed potato or something like that, they, they can be quite a good serving. Of the eight or so flavors, I haven't had one that I didn't like. They're just absolutely delicious. One thing that blew my socks off was a steak. They actually have like this whole steak that you can pull out and it's absolute decadence. And normally I always go for dehydrated food, but because there's no water on this trail. I thought, well, we may as well have wet food. <laughs> Not dehydrated. Oh, well, this is a whole steak, this one. I know, it's um, solid. Look at that. Solid. Wow, that's actually quite. That's mental. Oh, mm. oh wow. Animal, no, I'm a huge fan of that. <laughs> quite good. Mm. It tastes meaty. Mm. <laughs> it's proper meat. Holy yeah, shit. It is definitely proper meat. <laughs> There's a whole steak in there. Mm. That's like something my grandma used to make. <laughs> yeah, like stroganoff. Oh, they also have a couple of breakfast or dessert options. I wasn't a massive fan of desserts, but I'm not a super sweet tooth, so try those. Uh, the brekkie I haven't tried myself because I'm not really a huge pork eater. They're pretty easy to make. You just rip the top off and squeeze them in and heat them up. But I don't really like getting my pot dirty on the trail. So another method you can do is just um, boil up some water in a pot and then place the pouch in there. You yeah, um, place it enclosed and um, they warm up really well. Boil it for about five minutes. I tend not to do it that long. The one thing is you will use a fair bit more gas than you would say if you're doing the dehydrated more um, freeze dried meals because you're boiling for five Five minutes instead of just um, boiling and turning it off. So obviously you need some water for this process. What we'd do on the trail when we didn't have water, it was extremely limited, we would boil them in here for five minutes and then we'd use this water to make our mashed potato which was from dehydrated product. Um, it worked really well. I'm not sure how much I love boiling plastic in there so maybe it is easier to tip the whole product in and just cook it slowly. Just like that. Let's turn that off. Let's give it a taste test. So yeah, this is one of those ones that we just really look forward to at the end of the day. And I think that's super important when you're on a hike is um, there's nothing better than just to kick back and just be like, wow, this is delicious. And absolutely, this coconut ginger was one of our absolute favorites. I haven't had this beef bolognese before. Um, I really also loved the um, mild chili con carne was lovely. And the steak was next level. <laughs> so yeah, it's just this beautiful, you know, there's veggies in there has a delicious smell. Mm. It tastes like something your mum would make or your nana. It's just, they've really na nailed the flavours. Oh. On the trail we're matching them with a the dehydrated mashed potato and I'll link to my favourite one down below because um, I found one from a health food shop that has um, a bit of sort of greens included in it so it makes me feel a little bit more healthy and I'm not just eating bland white potato. While well, it won't be my go-to for ultralight hiking, I think if I want to have a special, say just a simple overnight hike and I want to have a really delicious meal hanging out with friends, these are, are something I'll definitely be going for in the future.
I've got a video where I do a taste test on all the brands I could get my hands on. No, this no. is one of the curries that was a bit too sloppy to mm, put on no. a plate, sorry. Delicious. Okay, I really like this one. Whoa. I could already tell when mm. I looked at it that I was going to think it was delicious. Mm. Mm. Yep. Like, I think this yep. is my favourite so far. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This tastes like Same. actual, yeah. yeah, this this ain't from, you know, this ain't, you know, the stock cube. That's yeah, right. it yeah, it tastes cube. like someone, I've gone to someone's house, they've made a really nice curry That's and they've right. dehydrated it. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. I mean, what would make it better? It's like quite good, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite mm. good and like a good kick as well. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like nice, good, proper spicy. Mm. I feel like it's like... All the other ones didn't quite have like complexity of flavors. Yeah, whereas this one does. This one does, yeah. yeah. But it's still a good salt content, you know? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Like, I wouldn't expect better. Do you know no. what I mean? Mm. Yeah, neither. Neither. Yeah. Um, what's like no, the, I'm the going notes or quote for this one? Um, this one. Was, this co was this coconut ginger chicken? Yeah. Mm. Like, um, actual home cooked meal? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I'm going to go bolognese first. Then. Yeah, go, the, yeah. Bolognese go first. the bolognese first. Wait for the cheese on the ragu. Mm. Mm. Yep, um, yeah, that's you know what? That's fine. I quite like these flavors. Yeah, maybe it's kind of like a bolognese. Too much salt, you think? Surely not as salty as the risotto. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What Pardon? do you say? It's a bolognese you expect to get at Zeffirelli. Mm. Yeah, mm. for sure. sure. Like it's like, which is fine. Like it's, it's kind of like, or a, again, mm. it, it tastes like being on a plane. Plain, yeah. plain mm. bolognese. Yeah, it's mm. good for a um, good for a hike. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yep. Quite like that one. Me too.